corporate partner of Texas Tech Athletics. Now, here's KMAX Bailey Burmaster with an exclusive inside look into the world of Texas Tech sports. This is Red Raider Nation, sponsored by High Plains Periodontics. Welcome into Red Raider Nation. I'm Bailey Burmaster. Waking up this morning, it was not a dream. The Texas Tech Red Raider basketball team brought home the first Big 12 regular season championship in program history. Chris Beard's squad defeated the Iowa State Cyclones 80 to 73, extending to a nine game winning streak. Sophomore guard Jarrett Culver had a career high of 31 points. The Red Raiders returned home as Big 12 champs with hardware in hand. However, Tech will share the regular season trophy with the Kansas State Wildcats. What they will not share is head coach Chris Beard's Big 12 Coach of the Year and Jarrett Culver's Big 12 Player of the Year awards. The first Player of the Year award for the program and Beard's second consecutive honor. Had a real expectation and belief in our locker room. A lot of people outside of our locker room, you know, whether they picked us last in the league or you're not going to be back because you lost so much from last year's team. We just had an inner uh, confidence based on those four seniors uh, that we could do some great things. So I'm just really happy. You know, we're just getting started. March is just happening. Um, you know, we'll enjoy this. Texas Tech baseball secured the series over Wichita State on Saturday with their 15 to 10 win. Can they get the sweep? It was a cold one. Out at Rip Griffin Park, but it heats up early for Texas Tech. Cody Masters singles to right, going on to score Dylan Noisy, all tied up at one to start. Then Parker Kelly at the plate. He goes on to double to right to score big man Cam Warren. Tech up two to one in the bottom of the second. On to the bottom of the third. It's Brian Klein right here who goes on to slam it. Into the West Texas win. He goes yard. Tech takes the lead 5 to 1. Great start by the Red Raiders. Hard to come back from for the Shockers. Texas Tech wins 15 to 4, improving to 11 and 3 on the year. Coach Tadlock gets his 250th win in the Scarlet and Black. Everyone's hitting 1 through 9. We probably could have one of the best lineups in the country. So um, it's definitely a positive to see everyone contributing today and as the weekend went on. So that's definitely good. Considering conference play is coming up, keep playing our best baseball. I mean, we're not there yet, but just to keep getting a little better each day, um, and then going forward, I and mean, we got New Mexico on Tuesday, and so we're ready to keep playing. Red Raiders softball wrapping up the Geneva McCanny Memorial Classic after run ruling Gardner Webb in six. Jessica Hartwell doubles on the Bears after a throwing air quickly. After this, Carly Hamilton deciding to risk it, she makes it home to put Tech up one to zero in the first. Big inning does not stop there. Brianna Russell singles to left, scoring Jessica Hartwell. Adrian Gregory's team making it look easy as they win 7 2 and improve to 24 and 1 overall. Two starting Lady Raider tennis players out with the flu. Tough task with Rice in town, however. Tech secures the doubles point and rallies back in singles to get the win. 4 to 2, huge win on a chilly day at the McLeod Tennis Center. And for those who may not know, tonight is my last time on air for KMAX Red Raider Nation. I have accepted a sports reporter anchor position in Green Bay, Wisconsin with the ABC affiliate up there. I'm very excited for this next chap chapter, but I'm so thankful for every single person I've come across in West Texas. The Hub City was a safe haven for me when I began my career here, and it will always hold a special place in my heart. I've had some amazing opportunities from interviewing Garth Brooks, covering Tech in Boston for the Elite Eight, and going to Omaha. Hall for the College World Series. To every coach, player, fan, thank you. Thank you for listening. Thank you for caring. And thank you so much for your kindness. You embrace me with open arms, and I can tell you there is no better feeling than being able to be me, the real me, on TV day in and day out. From news to sports and everywhere in between, I am who I am because of the last three years I've spent in Lubbock, including the fact I'm headed to Wisconsin with a West Texas twang, specifically when I say Texas Tech. Wreck them. We'll be right back.